No, just Jamie here, so thanks for watching a brand new Retro Bat tutorial. So, have you got some games in your folder, some ROMs and ISO files, and they're not appearing on your GUI on your front end when you boot up Retro Bat? So, there's a very easy fix around this, and it's quite likely a case of just configuring some settings. So, to do this, you need to go into the folder your installation of Retro Bat is in. So once you've found your directory folder where all your games are, BIOS files are, there's a little application here what you need to be pressing uh, and it's BatGUI, which is Graphical User Interface. So if we just double left click on this one, first thing you need to do here is go up to the system list open this one up. So let's just say for example uh, you've got some Atari Jaguar CD games uh, there in your ROMs folder and they're not showing up. So they're not showing up for a couple of reasons. Either you've not unextracted the zip files of the game or you've not gone into this uh, system list. So to do this, and my example is going to be Atari Jaguar CD, is you need to change the extension. So to do this, let me show you how. So like I say, Atari Jaguar CD. So I'm going to just go to system and I'm going to just go down and find Atari Jaguar. And the closest we got here is Jaguar CD. So I'm going to just left click on this one. Okay, so it's automatically detected our directory for ROMs Jaguar CD. Uh, the platform is a little bit confused. It says 3DO. So if we just left click on this one, and again, we're going to find Atari Jaguar. Let's see if this part has got Jaguar CD, uh, which it doesn't. So what we're going to do is just go and click left click on Atari Jaguar. Uh, this next part, again, is saying 3DO, so it's a little bit confused. So if we just left click on this one and we go down to Atari Jaguar once again and your manufacturer is obviously Atari who produced the Atari Jaguar and the CD. Okay, so your next part of this is, uh, it's quite likely under the extensions box here, uh, you're not, it's not detecting the type of file you've got in your ROMs folder. So in the Jaguar case, it needs to be a .cdi file. And if we look under this extensions just here, .cdi isn't listed. And of course, this is your problem. The system Retrobat isn't finding, detecting that file extension. So to add the .cdi file extension, we're gonna just go to the plus box just here, tab, left click on it and it's asking us to type in the extension. So it's already got the dot in place, so literally just a case of typing in CDI. And I'm gonna just press add. So all that's set up. And it's also only detecting a core for Virtual Jaguar. And of course, there's been a major development with this latest Retrobat, which is of course Big PMU. So I'm also going to click on the plus tab here and I'm just going to type in Big PMU, which of course emulates Jaguar CD games and uh, standard Jaguar games just really fine. So again, add, and that's it. So I'm now going to save this custom config file, okay? So let's just double sure everything's there is selected, and it is, cool. Okay, so save custom, and just before I go any further, you might need, if you're doing this for a different system, maybe it's a computer, a games computer, just go to hardware and you just select the appropriate one. So, of course, for the Atari Jaguar CD, it could be either console or extension. Um, as we know, the Jaguar CD was an extension, but it works fine on console in this case. So just console and then save. and it's been successfully saved. So, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is let's open up Retrobat again, and let's just check that the CDI, the .CDI I've just added as extension, is actually been added successfully and we can now see the system. So let's check. So let's open up Retrobat.
And there we have it, we have Shaggy War CD. So it's going to be empty, you're going to have no pictures on it, so very simple fix once more. We just go inside of Jaguar CD. All we're going to do is press enter, or however you bring up your main menu. And I'm going to just go to scraper. And then you just simply select your settings for the scraper. I've already got mine configured. And what I'm going to do next is just scrape. Okay, so once it's finished scraping, we will just go to game settings via main menu. And if I go to update game lists, really update game lists, yes. This will save the metadata. And let's go back into a jar top. And let's go back into Jaguar CD. And Bob is certainly your uncle. We now have the majority of screen art. So there's a couple there which doesn't have it. So in this case, that's just a case of renaming your game files. And that's it. Thanks for watching and check out my other emulation tutorials. I've got a complete setup guys tutorial for Retro by itself, RetroArch, uh, you name it, Sarah. If you need any extra support, I'm on Buy Me a Coffee and you can select the appropriate tier for the support you require. And I'm also on Patreon, so make sure to check that out as well. See you later.